happened just minutes ago. President Trump saying when asked about the Iran nuclear deal, whether we stay, whether we go, that he has decided and he'll let us know. He says he's made a decision, but we are yet to find out. So joining us now, Nebraska Senator Deb Fisher uh, to weigh in on that and many other topics. The Senator, great to have you with us. That happened just moments ago. What's your reaction? Well, I look forward to hearing what the president's decision is. We all know that Iran is an exporter of terrorism. We know that uh, it was a bad deal. Uh, that's my feelings on it. I want to make sure that Iran is in compliance in the future. I have concerns about their capabilities in developing intercontinental ballistic missiles, for example, why that was included at the, at the end of the negotiations to be in a nuclear deal uh, surprised many of us here in the Senate. Well, and we know that there's another certification deadline coming up uh, in just a couple of months, mm -hmm. and Congress may play a part in that depending on what the president does. Uh, so we know that it's something you are watching closely also with health care because there is a timeline ticking for you there on the hill uh, if you're going to use the 51 vote framework you got to get something done by the end of the month we now have this measure uh, by senators Cassidy and Graham uh, where are you on that and do you think that the GOP can get to 50 well Nebraskans need relief we've had a 153 percent increase in premiums over the last four years. We saw 80,000 Nebraskans lose their insurance under co-opportunity. We have 47,000 Nebraskans who pay a penalty rather than take insurance. So we are watching a system that is failing many in our state and we have to see some kind of relief. I think it's a great model that the senators have come up with, with the proposal to be able to take away this uh, power at the federal level and put it back in the hands of the states. I would rather have our state legislators and our governor make decisions that take into a, uh, understanding what Nebraskans need. It's a diverse state. It's obviously different than other states here in the country. And we need to make sure that we have proposals that meet the needs of Nebraskans. So I think it's a good model. Well, here is how one of the co-authors, Senator Cassidy, broke it down for us just moments ago on America's Newsroom. We drive a stake in the heart of single-payer health care plan. If somebody votes against our bill, they're voting for Obamacare. If you're voting for, if you're voting for our bill, you're voting for power to the patient, power to the state. So far, that argument is not working on Senator Rand Paul. Do you think other GOP senators will see it that way? Well, I hope uh, all of us take the time to look over the bill. We have some days here, and I know I'm spending time reading through it with my staff to have a full understanding of what's in it and really what it does to help the people in my state. So I hope that all of our senators consider that. You know, we made a promise to the people of this country when every uh, senator that's elected now was running, and that was to repeal Obamacare. Uh, to be able to have a plan that gives decision making back to the states, I think is in in balance with who we are as a party when we look at federalism. We want decisions that are made close to home. We want uh, to have constituents be able to talk to their state senator instead of having to worry about a bureaucrat in Washington. Uh, so I think this is a plan worth exploring and I hope all of my colleagues take, take the time to look at it before they um, make comments about it. Okay, you are a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Quickly want to ask you because it's flown under the radar a bit. There has been some bipartisan action Things have actually gotten done, at least with uh, respect to defense spending. Um, and you say that this is going to make up some of the gap and help with readiness uh, that our military is currently lacking. Yes, we passed the Bipartisan uh, National Defense Authorization Act. Secretary Mattis has said that he was shocked by the lack of readiness by our military when he returned after being out for four years. And, and that's a concern, I think, to everyone on the committee. It passed out of committee unanimously. We had a very strong vote mm -hmm. on the floor. And now, after we get to the NDA passed in Congress, we need to step up and take up a Department of Defense appropriations bill as well. Yes. It's one thing to vote for the authorization yeah. and say you support the military. Well, yeah, hey, it's another you know, thing. let's get on appropriations and commit to spending the money, to appropriating yeah, that money to take care of our troops. It's another thing to do. We are out yeah. of time, but thank you, Senator Fisher. Thank you. More in a moment.